the second reading for today in the Daily Office Lectionary is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, 21 to the end of the chapter. And it's the, it's the familiar story of the woman uh, the bleed, the, who had a, a bleed of some kind. She suffered from uh, this, I, I think was perhaps a common problem of the day, but hard to deal with. The Talmud, which are Jewish interpretations of the law, list no fewer than 11 potential cures for what was ailing this woman. Some of them were tonics and uh, astringents, but some of them were just crazy superstitions, like carrying the ashes of an ostrich ostrich egg in a linen rag in summer and a cotton rag in winter or carrying a barley corn which had been found in the dung of a white she ass very specific well no doubt this woman this poor woman had tried all of these desperate remedies and the problem was that not only had they not assisted her, her health at all, but they had all also rendered her poor because all of these remedies had to be paid for. And Mark, in his gospel here, even has a gentle jibe at the doctors, telling us that she had tried them all and suffered much and had spent everything she had and the result was that she was worse off in the end. The physicians and their various cures had no success at all. And then she heard about Jesus. But she had a problem. She had a couple of problems. First of all, her, she, her situation was, uh, was embarrassing. And so it wouldn't be something that she would want to share in an open or a public way. And Jesus was there in the crowd. And so she decided that she would just touch Jesus, which was her second problem. Because as a woman in this, uh, in a conservative Jewish culture, women did not touch men and men did not touch women in public. And so she decided that she would try to touch Jesus in secret without anybody knowing. Now, every devout Jewish male would wear an outer robe with tassels on it, one on each corner. If you go to Israel today, you'll see many devout Jews wearing this. They'll, instead of wearing it as an outer robe, though, they'll wear it underneath their clothes, but you can see the tassels dangling down. And these tassels were, were, were worn in obedience to the command in Numbers chapter 15. And they were meant to just to be a reminder to that person that they were, of who they were, who the, what their identity was as a part of God's chosen people. And it was one of these tassels that the woman slipped through the crowd and touched and having touched it, found herself miraculously cured. The tassels reminded a Jewish man who they were, whose, whose, whose God they were, the people that they were a part of. The tassels represented who they were. She touched Jesus. He touched, she touched who he was. His identity was different from the identity of every other Jew, Jewish male wearing those tassels. And she touched Jesus, and Jesus healed her. So this is a word for, for all of us. Uh, 
uh, after we've tried everything, well, maybe, maybe instead of trying everything and then going to Jesus, we should go to Jesus first and touch, touch Jesus, uh, touch who he is, reach out, reach out to who he is. Amen.